My name's Carol Sheath and I'm from Argyll on the west coast of Scotland. I am an engineering programme manager working for Renewable Parts. There are a number of parts in a wind turbine which wear and fail over time. For some parts that is planned and for some parts it's unexpected. But what usually happens is those parts are removed, replaced with a new part the used or failed part is thrown in a skip. And what Renewable Parts is trying to do is to create a circular chain where we take those used parts, remanufacture or refurbish them, and make them good to put back into a turbine and to use again. Quite often we can provide that part a lot quicker than it would take to get a new part in. There's a lot of carbon goes into manufacturing parts. So by refurbishing and remanufacturing, we're creating a huge carbon saving. Loch Gilthead is a small town with a declining population. So obviously the creation of jobs here is fantastic. We offer apprenticeships at Renewable Parts. It's a great opportunity for school leavers to come and get some practical skills, but it allows them to gain a degree while they're doing that. It means they don't have to go away to find those opportunities. We're the main sponsors of the local Shinty team, and this year we've provided their kits for them. So that's great. We look forward to seeing how they do this season. Renewable parts is playing an integral role in making the supply chain of the wind industry greener. But there is more that can be done there, and to do that, we need to work with local government, with universities. Those are the ways that we're going to, to change the industry for the better and address climate change. Scotland has significant growth targets for the wind industry, particularly in offshore. That creates a, a challenge in terms of where the raw materials are going to come from. So while it's a challenge for the industry, it's an opportunity for us and it's an opportunity for the whole of Scotland to create these kind of uh, green, sustainable jobs in remanufacturing.